Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to create an About Us page in VP Residence team with Elementor plugin. Some of our demos have already built About Us pages, but in this video I will show how to create one from scratch using Elementor. I will use as reference the About Us page from the German demo. The first step is to create a new page. I will go to Pages, Add New. I will add a title. Since I will create the page header with Elementor, I will disable the theme one. I will disable the search form and the sidebar. Also, I will set the page title to not show and I will publish the page. Now I will click Edit with Elementor and I am ready to start building the page. I will add a new section. I will use the section for the page header. I will make the settings for this section. I will set it to be full width. I will set the height. And I will set the section to be stretch. Next, in style, I will select the background image. And I will make the settings for the image to show well. I will set a background overlay color. The opacity of this color can be set from this option. Next, I will add a title over the image. For that, I will add an inner section. I will leave only one column. In this section, I will add a heading. And here I will add a text that I want to show over the image. I will set the text position and from style I will set the color, the font size, font weight and a line height. I am done with the header section. Now I will add a new section where I will display a list of the company agents. So I will add the new section. I will set it to be stretch. In the section, I have added a new inner section where I added two heading widgets to add new text. Next, to add the agent lists, I will add a new inner section. I will set it to have only one column. To display the agent list, I will use the VP Residence list agents. This is the widget. I will set it to show three agents and three agents per row. I finished the agent section. Now I will add a new section for testimonials. To keep the same formatting, I will just duplicate this section and only replace the text and the widget. I will change our agents with client testimonials. I will change the text for the second heading widget. And now I will remove the agent list widget and replace it with testimonials one. I will look for testimonial widget. This is the one that I need to use. I want to display six client testimonials in two rows. So I will duplicate this widget one and two. And now for the second row, I will duplicate the inner section so I can display the three widgets. Now I will start adding content for each widget. I will add client name, title of the client. I will add an image. I will select one from media. And here I will add the testimonial text. I will set testimonial type to type 3 and here I will add the number of stars that will show in the widget. I added content for each widget. Now the client testimonial section is done. So I will proceed with the last section of the page, which will be built with the Elementor widget called Toggle. For now, I will duplicate this section to keep the formatting. I will change the text in heading widgets. I will remove the testimonials and now I will add the Toggle widget. This is the widget. I will add it with drag and drop. 
I want to create two columns with four Tugal elements per column. So now I will duplicate this section to create a new column and after duplicate the entire section so I can have four Tugal elements per column. Now I will start adding the text for each Tugal element. I will change title and description and here you will be able to change the text that will show in the Tugal element. I will change the text for each Tugal element. Also you can add new Tugals if you do not wish to duplicate sections. And from here you can change the existing icons. The text is changed and now I will go to style and start customizing the design of each Tugal widget. In Tugal section you will have the border settings. I will set the border to be zero. I will change the color for the border. I will add a value for the space between and I will change box shadow color. I will continue with other settings. Next I will go to title section. Here I will be able to change the colors for the title of the toggle. For the toggle title I will change background color and colors for the font. Also in typography I will change the text size and make other settings. I will set a padding and go to icon section. Here I will change the alignment of the icons and also set a color. Next in content section I will set a background color. In typography I will change the font size, font weight and also I will add padding values. I will apply the same setup for each Tugal element. The setup for this section is done as well. The page is ready. Now to highlight the sections I will change the background color for the middle section. So I will go to section, go to style and I will set this color to white. Now I will save changes and I will go to front end and check the results. The page is done. Using Elementor you will be able to add in the page relevant details for your business. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.